a.m. In Portsmouth, detectives have identified three persons of interest in connection to a deadly shooting. Tonight, police identified one of those people as 23-year-old Marquise Riddick Whitfield. They believe he may know information about the deadly shooting of 28-year-old Daniel Rogers. Miles Hood has more on the investigation. Portsmouth Police Chief Stephen Jenkins called the conference to dispel rumors that this was a police shooting. He showed us a video of the incident, identified three persons of interest as well. We also heard from the victim's 28-year-old Daniel Rogers' mother, Von Treese, who tells me her youngest son was taken too soon. Tonight in Portsmouth, a family is grieving. I'm here, and then again, I'm not here. 28-year-old Daniel Rogers was killed Friday night. Rogers' mother, Von Treese, tells us her son was a business owner and a mentor in the community. And he gave anybody a chance to get a career. He became a mentor in the community. At a press conference on Saturday evening, Chief Jenkins said the shooting happened around 11 p.m. Friday at the Dale Home Apartments. When they arrived, officers found the 28-year-old suffering from gunshot wounds, later dying on the scene from his injury. The area uh, had multiple people that were outside during the time last evening uh, and that were uh, uh, potential witnesses to the actual situation. Chief Jenkins says it's the 12th homicide this year. He says the shooting was part of an attempted robbery. He also identified three persons of interest. Mr. Whitfield, I, if, if you hear my voice, I need you to contact the Portsmouth Police Department as we are actively looking for you. While the police plead for the community's help, Rogers' mother just wants justice for her son. Everybody know how to reach me. If they have any answers to just be able to provide information to the proper place, police department, so we can get this closure to my son's death. Chief Jenkins says this is a 12th homicide in Portsmouth this year.